Hi all folks, this is Max from RootGalaxyNote.com So I thought uh, I'd take a break this week uh, Instead of doing a ROM of the week review I'm going to show you how to unroot your AT&T Galaxy Note uh, back to, Completely back to ICS stock I think the latest 4.0.4 um, This can be great if you somehow messed up your phone And you want to unroot it Maybe you want to return it for warranty um, So we're going to use Odin to do this You can also use Odin Pro uh, mobile Odin Pro available at the app um, Play Store uh, for a couple of bucks. You can use that if you don't have a Windows computer. Um, it's pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, first, you'll have to put your phone into download mode. Um, so go ahead and hold down. Uh, uh, go ahead and hold. Go ahead and actually plug your USB, and then hold down volume up, volume down, and the power button. And this is exactly the same as gingerbread unroot method, but uh, I thought I'd update it since some of you want to unroot your phone straight to ICS official. And also, you can do this similarly for Rogers and Telus and other Canadian variants. I'll have links to those. I have the. You just have to use a different file. I already have it on my site, um, but I forgot to put this one up. So this week we will do this one. Sorry, is it volume down and power? Try volume down and power and hold it down. Sorry, I'm getting a little confused here. I haven't done this in a while. I think it's volume down and power. And then when when your screen uh, goes off and you feel the vibration, just keep holding down volume down. Oh, there you go. I got it right this time. Um, hit volume up. And let's go to our computer. Next, you'll need to download two files, Odin v 185zip um, go ahead and download it and unzip the file so you get a folder with Odin 3v185 with the two Odin files. And also go ahead and download the i717 uclf6, i717 attlf6. Uh, underscore att. That's the latest 4.0.4 ICS um, stock ROM. And if you unzip it, you'll get two files: uh, blah blah blah. Dot tar. Dot md5. Now, if you don't, if you cannot see the tar. Dot md5, uh, that's because you don't have a uh, extensions um, unhidden so they're probably hidden so go ahead and type um, go to search and type hidden uh, for Windows 7 and then there will be a menu for show hidden files and folders and make sure it's like that show hidden files folders and drives and also uncheck hide uh, hide extensions for known file ties for those who are wondering um, just makes it easier when you root and stuff you, you know exactly what the file name is that's my recommendation whenever you're rooting and stuff um, so go ahead and run Odin v185, and uh, you can use the newer version, um, but I like using the older version, it works just fine. Uh, make sure you have a yellow highlight here, and uh, if you don't have it, I'll have links to USB drivers, and go ahead and install it, um, uh, and then uh, plug it, plug, unplug and plug your Galaxy Note uh, back in, and you should say the yellow thing there. Um, next, go find the file that you just unzipped, the stock ROM. Um, it's that one for me. So that's the tar.md5 here. It's the same one there. Um, simply click OK, open, and hit Start. And this will unroot your phone. Um, if for some reason you get stuck at setup connection, you don't get to the bottom part. Um, if you don't get that within five seconds and if it doesn't start going, try another USB port. Um, sometimes uh, on the Windows, the you know if you try another USB port it'll work just fine, and uh, also make sure Samsung keys is turned off, um, and uh, that should do it. But if you have trouble, um, you know if the Odin doesn't open at all, then try another computer. Um, that happened to be one of my laptops. I don't know what went wrong. Uh, rather than spending hours trying to fix it, um, just go grab another computer. And I'm sure many of you have another computer around somewhere, and uh, to do that. But this should take about 5 to 10 minutes. And also, another note, don't use a USB hub because it might fail during it. And if it gets stuck during uh, installation, um, do not panic. Simply reboot uh, into the download mode like I showed you before. Uh, volume down in the power. And also, if you get some kind of um, keys, firmware uh, download error mode or something, and it, the Odin didn't finish, that's fine too. That's same as Odin. You can actually flash... Um, ROMs, uh, stock ROMs using Odin in that mode. So go ahead and try it again. I think I've co covered all the bases that can go wrong uh, because I get like a hundred, hundreds of comments 
Um, so I know what everybody's everybody's uh, trouble is, I think. So that should cover it. And um, you know, you can also use Mobile Odin Pro. Uh, same thing. Run Mobile Odin Pro. In the you know, there's an option to choose a tar.md5 file, and then you can copy this stock ROM file to your Galaxy Note and choose that in Mobile Odin Pro. Um, that will also unroot you. And also, if you uh, if you want to get rid of the triangle, you can also use the Triangle Away app. Um, I don't recommend using that app unless you're you're gonna return your phone phone to the uh, to the store for warranty. Otherwise, there's no need. It doesn't actually do anything. It just gets rid of that triangle. Um, I don't recommend using that app unless you absolutely have to, um, because it's it's a sort of a dangerous app to use all the time. Um, so. You can use it, just don't use it unless you're really going to return for warranty um, because it, it has no effect. Um, you can have binary count of like 99, you know, 999 and it will not matter. Anyway, it's almost done. I'll be back when this is done. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Uh, make sure you make a backup of everything on your internal storage before you do this because you'll most likely need to do a factory reset, which I'm going to do. Um, to get your system working or or you can also do a factory reset and clockwork my recovery before running this uh, if you want to do that after um, that way you don't lose any data but if you do factory reset on uh, any of the newer ICS 4.0.4 and newer it will actually erase the contents of your internal storage that's why I'm telling you this um, but just in case just make a backup of everything uh, before you start rooting custom ROMs it's just common sense, and, and if it, something goes wrong, you don't lose anything, um, and you know stuff happens, you know. And for those of all all of those of you who are trying this for the first time, why not? It's just it takes you an additional 10, 20 minutes to back up your data and do this. Um, also, you know you should have a backup of your stuff if it's important to you, um, you know, in case you lose your phone or something. Anyway, it's done. Uh, my phone has reset it. Unless it actually boots. It might probably not boot. Um, there you go. Maybe it will. Uh, but you might get a lot of errors. You'll have to do a factory reset, uh, most likely. And again, that will erase everything on your internal storage. Um, if you want, you can boot boot into it and then try to get the files out before. Um, but if you're coming from a custom ROM, which I am, coming from a Jelly Bean uh, ROM, it might uh, have a bunch of weird things on it. We'll see. Sometimes it's it uh it might be okay. Let me change the camera angle. Also, you can install um this AT&T one on the Rogers or Telus. It will not break your phone, just you get a bunch of AT&T. Also, you could probably install the Rogers on here. And you get a bunch of Rogers stuff instead of AT&T. Um they're pretty much compatible the same. Um just the software is different. Uh but I do recommend uh, installing the correct one for your phone. There's one for I think Telus and Rogers on my site. And also, is there one for wind? Um, and if you're using T-Mobile, uh, I don't know if there's any stock ROMs out for that. But I'll post it if it's out there. Anyway, I'll be back when this completely boots. Um, if it doesn't boot, I'll show you how to do a factory reset also. Okay, so it's taking ridiculously long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down... Um, I'm going to get into the stock recovery. I'm going to hold down volume up, volume down together. And also the power button, that's three buttons. I'm going to wait until my phone resets, but I'm going to keep holding down volume up and volume down. This will get me back into stock recovery. And let go of the power button when your phone resets. Um, and uh, give it a second here, and you will see that you're in stock recovery. And this is what I was doing earlier. I messed up. but should get you into stock recovery here. And uh, here we go. Next, what you want to do is um, go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Again, if if you did not um, back up your internal storage, be careful. It might erase everything on your internal storage. Um, so do make a backup before you start this. I'm going to do Data uh, Wipe Factory Reset. It's most likely because I'm coming from a, and say yes, um, I was coming from a Jelly Bean custom ROM. If you're coming from a stock ROM, however, from Gingerbread or whatever, uh, you should be all good to go. You shouldn't have to do this. Um, but this also erases all your settings and apps, so you start on a full, uh, fully clean. Is that fully clean? Fully clean slate, um, and uh, this will, you know, boot up your phone. It shouldn't take that long. And I'll be back when this is done. 
Again, if you want to, um, if you want to, and you already have Clockwork Model Recovery or Twerp, or whatever, you can do a factory reset before unrooting. Um, that way, you don't have to have the possibility of losing all of your internal storage data, which is probably the right way to do it. Um, I just did it because I, you know what? Um, I'm just out, always out of time. I, <laughs> I'll just do it once. Anyway, I'll be back. And did you know that Galaxy Note is officially the most popular phone in Korea? All the celebrities are carrying Galaxy Notes. Um, I don't know what happened. Everybody was carrying iPhone like 2011. Um, and then now everybody's carrying Galaxy Note. So Galaxy Note is really coming up. And uh, Galaxy Note 2 is going to be freaking awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get all of them. Um, just like the Galaxy S3, I like the Galaxy S3, but I still like my Galaxy Note better. The bigger screen, um, and also it usually comes with a better processor. Um, this one has better processor than the S2, and the Galaxy Note 2 will have a better processor than the original Note. And I think this is an excellent concept. And I got it booting now, finally. So once you see that screen, you should be all good to go. It should be completely unrooted. And if you did a factory reset like I did, um, I think all of your data has been erased and internal, but we'll go check. Let's see if I, uh, my data is still there, my photos and stuff. And I'll be back when this boots up completely. Alright folks, so once it's booted up, um, you should be all good to go. Let's go to settings, uh, about phone. You should be back on 4.0.4 UCLF6. That's the latest as of this video, I think. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Or at least the ones you can actually flash in Odin. And you can always, if there's a newer update, you can always flash this and go to About Phone and do a software update or use Samsung keys to update your phone also. And uh, let's go see if my files are still there. Um, so go to my files, and I think they're actually gone. But um, let me see. Maybe not. No, it's, I think they're gone. Oh, you know what? They're not gone. They're all there. So it does not erase your internal storage, um, but just just uh, be be careful because it might. Um, I'm just saying this because some like the Galaxy S3 does it. I guess on the Galaxy Note i7 and 7 it doesn't, but still make a backup. Anyway, if you like this video, um, don't forget to hit that like button for me here and the subscribe button up there or wherever it is uh, if you're using YouTube to watch this. Um, and also, if you have a Galaxy Note, Galaxy Note, uh, the international, this one, or the 10.1 tablet, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more, and also stuff like this. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you need help with your phone. And thanks, you guys, and stay high on Android. And uh, that's how you unroot um, your Galaxy Note, AT&T Galaxy Note, and also you can check the links below for the Rogers stock ROM, TELUS, and all the Canadian, Canadian versions. Yeah, see y'all later. Go Spider-Man.